Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in to this week's yoga video. Today's video is going to be a short muscle release video that you can do before a workout or at the end of a long day. I'm going to be featuring these rad rounds. They're just like little balls that you can use to help release tension and I'll put the link below so that you can check them out. Don't let not having this product prevent you from doing this video. If you have two different um, balls that are about you know this size, that would work fine. A tennis ball will work fine. Um, anything you have around the house that will work, just grab that. And when you're ready, have a seat on the mat and let's get started. So first things first, let's start with the feet. I'm gonna take the bigger ball. Um, if you have a tennis ball, that will work great. And we're gonna put it right in the arch of the foot. I'm just going to gently put a, apply a little bit of pressure and just begin to go forward and backward. And then I'm going to begin making small circular motions that spans the entire width of the foot, but pressing a little harder when I get to the arch of the foot. And then I'm gonna slow it down and I'm going to put the ball right above the, if this is the heel of the foot, right above the heel and press down. And then I'm going to slowly move my foot until the ball is right below the ball of the foot. So maybe the very top center of the arch and press down and hold. Then I'm going to release the pressure and just roll my foot back until the ball is directly under the, the ball of my foot and then begin to move a little bit more freely here, pressing down with medium pressure. And then we're gonna move it to the other side. So starting with the ball at the arch of the foot and just gently going forward and backward. And you'll feel it too, you'll feel like I don't know, these like, almost feels like there's like toxins or something inside. You'll feel the, the tightness in your feet and the pressure um, from, the, from pressing your foot down will help to release that. Now we're gonna make small circles. And then we'll stop and bring the ball just at the top of the heel. So if you look at the bottom of your foot where your heel is, the very top of that, you're gonna put the ball there and then press down. And then slowly drag the foot back until the ball is just under the ball of the foot. So below the ball of the foot, if you were to look at the bottom of your foot. And then moving a little bit more freely, I'm just gonna go forward and backward here. Just pausing anywhere you feel like you need to. And moving as fast or as slow as works for you. From here we're gonna stop and we'll take it back to the leg we started with and we're gonna move into the calf muscle. So I'm just going to use this same ball, place it in the fleshy part of the calf and lean back, let my leg be really heavy and just gently begin to move back and forth. I have a lot of tightness like right here. So I'm gonna to turn to the side a little and lift my hips off the ground but press my hands into the ground to move back and forth. And I just, I'm going up and down the side of my shin, side of my calf. Feels really nice actually. And 
then I'm gonna slow it down and press just a little harder. I'm gonna come to sit down and then find that fleshy part of the calf and just gently press in and then slowly lift my hips up and slide forward just so it gets the entire calf. And then we'll switch legs. So it's really about, I feel, I think it's not so much about doing it a right or a wrong way. I doubt there's really a right or a wrong way that you could do this. It's about figuring out where in your body you're holding tightness and then moving your body so that the, the ball will find that tight area. I'm gonna slow it down here. And then come to sit and just drag my leg back, pausing where I need to, and then gently releasing. I'm gonna move now onto the hands. For the hands, I'm gonna use the smaller ball just because I think it'll target the smaller muscles in the hands better. So I'm gonna put it right down and then I'll bring the, so if you think of like the arch of your foot, this is probably the arch of your hand. Um, I'll put that part directly out over top of the ball. I'm going to sit up on my shins because that's comfortable for me. If that's not comfortable for you, just sit however works for you. And then I'm going to gently begin to press down and make small circular motions. I'm foc focusing specifically on the outer edges of the palm, the base of the fingers, and that arch of the hand. And then here I'm gonna stop and bring it directly into the middle of the hand and just gently press down. And then I'm going to drag my hand, or push my hand forward rather, and bring that ball to the bottom of my um, palm. So I'm gonna have the ball here, bring it down to the palm, go back to the center, and then bring it out to the base of the thumb. Just because those are the tightest areas for me, but feel free to do what works for you. If the tighter, if you're feeling tightness, you know, at the base of the pinky, go out that way. Just move it around in order to find the tightness that you're experiencing, and then breathe through it as you release that tension. Now I'm going to focus on the outer edge of the palm right here. It's kind of a fleshier part. And I'm just going to gently press down and slowly move from the base of the pinky down to the base of the palm. And then give it a couple circles and take it to the other side. So starting at the arch of the hand, pressing down gently and then making some circles. It feels kind of awkward with this hand. This is my, my dominant hand is my right hand so this one feels a little weird. <laughs> And then I'll slow it down and bring it to the center of the hand and slowly move to the base of the palm and back. Base of the palm and back. But do what works for you. The base of my palm is that fleshy part of the hand, like the base of the thumb sort of. And so that's where I feel tightness and that's why I'm doing that. But if you feel tightness elsewhere, do what works for you. And 
and then I'll take it out to the other side of the hand, which is right here. And I'll slowly go from the base of the pinky down to the base of the palm. And I'm not pressing too hard, just medium pressure until it feels good. And we never want to feel pain, and you always want to notice the difference between discomfort, which might be caused from tension, and pain, which might be a signal that you're on the verge of an injury. So you just want to be mindful of that, whether you're in your yoga practice or you're doing a rolling out um, sequence. And just listen to your body, be aware of what's going on. From here, we'll stop and give it a couple more spins around just to get out any of the kinks left over. And then I'm going to take it down onto my forearms. So for my forearms, I'm going to use this bigger ball. And I'm going to kneel down, kind of like in child's pose, and place my forearm right on top of the ball. I'm at the base of my forearm. And then I'm just going to gently slide it back. I'm going to let my hand kind of be dead weight here, because if I flex it, like this, then these muscles are engaged and I want them to be relaxed for this. And I'm just slowly moving the ball up and back. Not pressing too hard, this is really gentle. But where I often feel a lot of tension, anytime I get a massage I always ask them to go pretty deep in my forearms and in my shins because for some reason I have a lot of tension there. But for me, the tension is at the top of the forearm. So I'm going to flip my arm around, again, letting my hand be dead weight, and then just gently roll back. And now I'm going to push it from my knees so that my butt lifts up. And this just makes it a little easier than if I keep my hips down. So again, I'm not pushing very hard. It's just hard enough that it feels like a really good release. And then I'll take it to the other side. So coming onto the base of the forearm, gently gonna draw my arm back, letting my hand be dead weight. Pausing anywhere I need to and playing around with how hard I'm pressing down. Noticing that it may feel different on one side. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna just flip over and start at the base of the forearm, lift my hips up and, oh sorry, lift my hips up and come forward with it and then draw it back as I come to sit back down towards my heels. Letting my hand be dead weight. And then I'll gently release. And that's it. So that'll do it. This is just something I like to do before I work out or before I practice anything like forearm stands. I think it's a great way to loosen up tight muscles and prepare the body for whatever activity that you're about to do. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.